<laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Episode 8 of a Tomboy's Heart. I'm about to say, okay, I look this one. Okay, this is a recap. He's about to tell her he likes her and shit, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Carter, who is that next to you? Carter, are you awake? Carter's gonna be. I open my eyes from hearing Lucas' voice. On my head, land into let Alex slept, and I quickly got up. <laughs> I shook Alex awake. He opened his eyes and yawned. He stretched his arms and stood up in his chair. I'm like, wait, Alex, you came to visit me? Well, of course, I had to visit my fan. You're so annoying, Alex. Carter, sh wait, shut up, Carter. Oh. Oh, bitch. <laughs> You're not even supposed to be standing. I'm okay. I'm meeting Alex. It's worth the pain. How did you sleep? Not very well. My neck hurts. Not you, Carter. I'm talking to Alex. You're so irritating. <laughs> I slept fine. On the other hand, I slept terribly last night. You looked comfortable to me. <laughs> Your head was laying on Alex's lap. <laughs> Next thing on my agenda, to strangle the fuck out of Lucas ass okay shut up Lucas are you hungry Lucas can you get me something from the deli sure what do you want just get me a, a lunch tray thingy what a lunch tray thingy that they sell here okay be back then go with Alex no I should stay with you I'm fine you should go with him but I don't want to. This is the last time I'm saying this. Go with him. <laughs> but I need to... Nurse, I feel a pain. <laughs> a little. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to leave this, his room at the moment. We're going to have to run some tests. But he's lying. Oh, the pain. It hurts. Please get out. He's lying. The pain. Doctor, okay, I'll get out. <laughs> While leaving Lucas, stuck out his tongue. This brat. He is a brat, like seriously. Alex, what are you doing? Why are you here? Your number one fan made me come with you. But what are you doing? I'm trying to find what Lucas wanted. It's right in front of you. Oh, Okay. On the count of three, we run. What are you talking about? One. He whispered in the he whispered the numbers while reaching out for the tray. Alex, what are you doing? Two, three. <laughs> you stole the damn food. I'm calling the police on you, kids. Hello, police. There was two kids here stealing from my deli. Can you come as soon as possible? I think we lost the cops. What the hell, Alex? You What made you think it was okay to do that? Shut up for once. I'm so done with you, Alex. Finally, I caught up to you too. Bitch, <laughs> run. Damn it. What's so funny about this? You wait, I can't breathe. Oh, my favorite couple. We aren't a couple. Why is she so mad? Heck, I don't even know. But does, doesn't she look stupid when she's mad? Sure does. What are you here for now, Zeke? I don't even know. All I did was rob some, some cigarettes from a guy. I'm saving the guy's life. <laughs> At least give me a reward. Right, they need to calm down on my old man. They, they are... What do you guys do? We just stole one thing from the deli. Like, it was only one. I didn't steal anything you did. Tomato, tomato. 
Um, what's my dad going to say about this? My man, she's going to start crying. Well, is she still going to start crying? Because I ain't for that kind of stuff. I know, right? Both of you shut the hell up. My dad's all ruined. My day is all ruined because of someone. I don't. I don't want to uh, mention any names, but he's standing right in front of me. I know Zeke's annoying, but no need to put the blame on him. Way to throw me out of the bus. Fuck nuts. Who says that? Obviously she does. Can't you hear? All right. Aren't you like rich? Why didn't you just buy it? I like to earn things. Stealing isn't earning anything. When you're like me and you get away with stealing, it's like you're scoring a goal on the field. Dang, that was deep. I'll be here all night, folks. Alex's ass is annoying. She should bop his ass right on top of the fucking head while he bent over like that. After a while, we finally got busted out by Alex's mom. Fire her immediately. If she can't make me perfect toast, then she's useless. Oh, okay. You know what? You're fired, too. Alex, let's go home. She stared at me. Disgusted. What is this disgusting-looking tramp? Oh, oh, hell to the no! Don't lose your marbles. Is she the one seeing Xavier? Yep. Well, as long as she isn't with you, you're the next generation of my business. Whatever. I don't care. You should be happy that I bailed you out, whatever your name is. It's Carter Elizabeth Blake. Stalker. Let's go, Alex. The limo's waiting for us. Tell Lucas I'll see him a different time. What's her problem? Can she throw any more shade than she already is? Go, well, yeah, she can. You look giant as hell. Sorry we couldn't get the thing you wanted. I'm just trying to lay down then. Just be careful. Dad is going to come later. Love you, bro. And this bitch still ain't got no shoes on. The next day at school. What now, Emma? I just got reminded about your clothing fiasco. Oh wow, you're so clever. Yeah. That'll get some more socks. Extra socks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They all messed up. No, they're right there. But I don't know what other one is. I got it. Oh. <laughs> what should uh, what sh that should teach you to not mess with me, and my Alex? Oh yeah. Okay, this girl needs to calm her freaking tits. What? What type of shit are y'all? What the fuck do y'all be saying? <laughs> what the hell? What should I tell her? Tell her about Alex letting you borrow his jacket. Jacket. Simple short sentence. How about you de-stress your breast and go back over there in the corner and come back when you know your facts? All you're doing is toying with my with the boys. All right, Krusty the Clown. <laughs> I know <laughs> you're playing. And you're not going to win. So get your delusional mind out of it. Alex belongs with me. I'm prettier than you. Tell me where that's going to get you. If you want to become a stripper, then it suits you. You belong there anyway. Now, if you excuse me, I have a life to get to. While you <laughs> still seek your... You see, you, so yours in the trash. I bet you only act like that to get close to boys so you can play with their minds. Did this girl just... Do you smell that? It smells like... <laughs> it smells of your nasty ass garlic breath <laughs> saying pointless shit. Go back to being a hoe you are. We aren't talking about gardening uh, supplies, Carter. I'm sorry, but I'm done with this dumbass conversation. You can leave. I will get you, Carter Blake. And you've said that since when? Fifth grade, and you still haven't done diddly squat. 
Except from killing me with your breath. Seriously, get some toothpaste. That was pretty brutal, dork. So what? I hate her so much. And this was all about you. She makes me want to punch her right in the freaking eyeball. Don't take it out on me. I mean, you're kind of weird for a girl. A little tough. Though. Imagine yourself in a horror movie. Are are you really about to go to a horror movie scene? Seriously? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I could, uh, oh hell no. Forget that. Yeah. I will cry. So how's my little buddy? Buddy? Lucas. I'm talking about Lucas. Why are you getting so friendly with him? Shut up and answer my question. He's okay. He's feeling a lot better now. That reminds me. What's up with the project? Oh, poop. I forgot about that. And it's doing a couple of days. You can work on it another day. Me? You heard me. See you in class. I swear every single minute of my life I regret talking to him. <laughs> You and me both. He's so fucking annoying. I had to go to the library for my free periods. I decided to give Edna a piece of my mind for ditching me the other day. Edna? What is she doing? Edna, what the fuck? What? Oh, Edna, your hair, girl. Yes, Carter. Did you dye your hair, girl? Don't you like it? Um. Okay, girl, I'll be over there. No, Edna, you look like a damn fool. The hell? Well, let's get these books in order. Let me tell you, it took forever to stack them into the correct authors. Finally, I'm done. Now, the label... I was interrupted from my thought around the corner from the bookshelf. I heard books tumble, fall from their places. I heard pushing and someone rolling on the floor. No, not the books. I saw their faces. It was some guy off the football team and, of course, Alex Parker. They're so fucking irritating. They're so fucking irritating. <laughs> Alright, about to do the next episode, y'all.